Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. Very interesting questions. I love this very first one. You must watch my video clip on thyroid. Dr. Bob, we use bromine for a hot tub. Should I convert to chlorine? No. Um, there's something you could probably get. I know there's a little frog mechanism that has more minerals in it than it does other chemicals. You may consider a saline or a salt type of solution. I know that they have the seawater type of uh, products today. I know they have that for pools. If you do have a hot tub, I for sure would make sure that I'm uh, uh, adding some iodine to my daily routine. What are your thoughts about bladder rack and iodine in thyroid health? You know, try it. You want iodine, whatever helps your body. Everybody's body responds different to different products. The best thing to do is have some blood chemistries done for your thyroid, which would be a TSH, a T3, and a T4. Take the product that you have and see what happens. That would be probably the, the simplest advice that I could give you. This was a very interesting question. We had a, a mom who had a three-month-old who was seeing their chiropractor, and the chiropractor's assisting with a product which has a lot of interesting ingredients in it. So for all of you who are constipated and have a child that's three months or younger and you have chiropractic care, make sure the chiropractor is adjusting that lumbar area and also make sure the child's drinking enough water. I don't know if you're breastfeeding or not, but I always, children always respond tremendously to chiropractic adjustments. We use a tool in our practice to help us assist in that area. I don't think I'd give a three month older product for bubbles. That's just my opinion. Somebody had a question about Kyo Green or Kyo Green. Uh, Dr. David Fram, the naturopath, who is a very fine gentleman, um, suggested it. He, she was concerned it contained lead. You know, I don't know the source of all of what Dr. David gets his products from. Um, I know that organic greens are usually the best, but you know, products today can absorb nutrients from the soil. It's like we have toxins everywhere in our environment. Uh, that would be one thought. We use some biocommunication testing and hair analysis to determine lead levels. If you're concerned about um, lead, you may consider eating only organic food yourself and or try some chlorella. Dr. Bob, will Celtic sea salt make me retain water? I can tell you from my experience, Celtic sea salt is an unrefined mineral. And you should not be retaining water because of it. If you are retaining water, you may consider having your heart or your kidneys uh, checked because those are also really important. Somebody had a coated tongue, and I believe I talk about this in my book, Dr. Bob's Guide to Prevent Surgery. Um, I have a degree in natural health. I've studied avaretic medicine, a thick, pasty tongue, avaretic uh, medicine calls it AMA. Alma is toxicity, energy, uh, challenges going on in a person's body. It could also be some yeast involvement. Your tongue is a direct reflection of internal health. So if you have a thick, white, pasty tongue, you know, make sure that your colon is functioning at 100%. Uh, someone was very complimentary about watching my videos. I believe they're Oklahoma somewhere. It happens to be a chiropractic wife and your husband has hot, burning feet. This is what I've learned about feet. Feet have everything to do with your liver. Phosphatidylcholine is the product that I would suggest in B vitamins. Just that we see so many toxic liver challenges today. So just try that. I do up to nine phosphatidylcholine a day and do that for about two or three weeks and see what happens. Um, someone else made a comment to me that they find our work quite interesting, which I do appreciate that I'm taking that as a compliment wants to know if blueberries were a nightshade. Generally, from my experience, the nightshades include tomatoes, potatoes, uh, green pepper, eggplant. Those foods tend to have a toxin in them or an alkaloid called solanin. I've never heard about that with blueberries. I would think that blueberries are a wonderful antioxidant. I don't promote blueberries. I promote spinach. We'll argue about spinach and phytic acid, and you know, I understand all that. I just know that people that consume berries could have left neck and mid back pain. Apples are probably one of the best antioxidants, by the way. Dr. Bob, what's the difference between hyper and hypothyroid? 
always remember hypo is low. Hyper is high. All you have to do is remember one. Hypo is low. And there's a lot of different ways you can assess it. Typically the medical community looks at TSH. TSH is elevated. They usually suggest that you have hypothyroid, which is true most of the time. But you also want to check your T4 levels. T4 is really important. It should be at 8. If it's higher than 8, you may have hyperthyroid. I would encourage you to go to Dr. Bob's Drugless Guide to Balancing Female Hormones. I go into great detail about the thyroid gland. My doctor says that my blood tests show that I have 40% kidney function. You want to know more about that. Well, there's a test called the GFR, uh, glomerular filtration rate, B1 and creatinine. There could be other tests that your healthcare provider did, but those are probably the ones. I can tell you from my experience, the liver is the main detoxifier in the body. If the liver is tired, for lack of a better term, the kidneys take over. So you look at your kidneys as your second liver. So if your kidneys are being stressed, go back to the liver. If you had sweaty feet, it's not your feet, it's your kidneys. Because your kidney, your feet become your second kidney. It's kind of interesting, all this stuff. So the kidneys, second liver, if your kidneys are overworked, your feet are going to sweat more. And if you sweat a lot, it could be a combination of body exhaustion. So drink water and bounce it on a ball, Celtic sea salt, clean your liver up for your kidneys. So someone fell down, fractured the hip, have arthritis, lots of pain, get tired of taking all the meds, don't know what to do, we use an enzyme in our practice to get rid of inflammation. Uh, the product, we always take it on an empty stomach, it has trypsin and chymotrypsin in it. Contact our office, we'd be happy to help you out. You may consider having um, a sedimentation rate to see what kind of inflammation you're doing in your body. No sugar. Sugar will always cause pain. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.